Greetings my esteemed subscribers. I am checking in from the Forest of Enlightenment. I'm checking in with an insight that might be useful to some of you. Now this is hardly a mind-blowing or revolutionary insight but I thought it would be worth sharing at least. Now a few years ago I made a wild hunt challenge video and in the video I said that it feels good to be out in the forest. I can't really explain why it feels good but it does feel good. Now however I do actually believe that I have a somewhat satisfactory explanation as to why that is. Why is it nice to be in the forest? Why do I recommend that you spend some time out in nature? Now the main point of this video is the following. Now, of course I do get comments and messages every once in a while from guys and girls saying you know what I feel a bit down, I feel a bit depressed, something is missing and I would say that many people are unhappy or depressed or whatever term we can use. They feel that way because they are disconnected from God. Now when I say God, if you don't like to use that concept, that's fine. We can say the animating life force that is within all living things. Um, when I say God, I mean the one, the Neoplatonic one. I'm no expert in Neoplatonism, but it's it's good enough for me at the moment at least, Neoplatonism. So we say the one, God, the one that is in everything. Now say then that you are very disconnected from all other life forms. If you are in a in an environment without particularly much life. Now the greatest life force, in my humble opinion at least, can be found among other humans. Now of course humans aren't the only life forms that are full of divine energy, of God, of uh, animating life force. You have such a thing as a tree. You have this lovely pine here as well. It's connected to me as all things are. So God is within this pine tree. Now I know this sounds a bit I sound a bit like a hippie, I don't know if I do that, but it's true nonetheless. I know many of these things I say they might sound a bit... Yeah, it sounds like something a hippie would say, but they are true nonetheless, so I need to say them. I always need to speak the truth, otherwise I'm not true to myself. I always need to say what is true, and it is true that everything is connected, and when you connect with other things, be they humans or trees, yeah, then you, you feel closer to God. So think of this, if you feel a bit down, if you feel something is missing, then simply ask yourself, how connected to God am I? Am I disconnected? Am I living in a, an environment which is completely sterile? Okay, if you do, that's normal, uh, but you can also rectify it by, you know, adding some plants into your apartment or something like that. And then, of course, you might live in a city, but you feel like you can't connect to anyone. That is normal. It's normal to not connect to a stranger you have no interest in knowing. But I would suggest that do try to find a place where you at least can establish some sort of connection to others. Uh, now, of course, different humans, they have different social needs. Um, and you could also, you know, get on well enough by connecting to other life forms. But the main thing is that if you do feel a bit bad, if you do feel a bit depressed, simply ask yourself, how connected are you to other life forces? So be out in nature. What I'm doing now is I am I'm connecting to Mother Earth. I'm feeling her love and presence. Again, um, I don't want to repeat myself uh, when I say that I sound like a hippie, but it is true. It is true that I do connect with God here. I'm connecting with a raven here that is croaking. I believe it's a blessing from Odin himself. It's a blessing that I'm on the right path in my spiritual journey. Now, lastly, speaking of humans, not all humans are equal. As you all know, it becomes abundantly clear the more enlightened you become. So some humans are full of love and life. They 
have a positive aura, good vibes, high vibration, they will be good to surround yourself with. Then of course there are bad people who are full of you know, negative energies and they will drain you of energy and when you are around them it will not feel good. So be mindful of what sort of people you surround yourself with and perhaps more importantly be mindful of what kind of person you are because ultimately that's something you can change. You can't necessarily change anyone else but if you can change yourself then it can maybe have a, um, a good impact on others later on. So ask yourself also what sort of individual am I? Am I someone who brings joy to others? Am I acting like a son to others? Am I someone that brings joy and happiness or not? And of course this is, I don't distinguish so much between the physical and metaphysical, but on a purely physical level, of course, the better you eat, the better you train, the better you sleep, these are all factors that will make you more likely to be positive and happy. So do eat your meat, fruit, dairy, eggs, eggs are great mate, do sleep, do train hard and you will feel more alive and you will probably project a, a more positive life force out and that will be that will make you a good person so you don't only train for yourself you also train for others so that you can be a pleasant individual to be around now of course this isn't always the case there are those who train hard and take care of their diet but they're still beset by demons but usually if you have someone who trains hard and eats well, sleeps well, they will have a good, nice vibe, they will present a good aura that is, you know, pleasant to be around. So anyway, that being said, I hope this insight has been useful. Again, perhaps not the most revolutionary insight ever, but um, it can be worth keeping in mind if you do feel a bit down sometimes that surround yourself with life. If you feel down, ask yourself, how much, how connected am I to God? How connected am I to other life forms? And then if you say it was a long time since I was out in nature absorbing the splendor and love of mother nature, then you go out in the forest and then you absorb some life force. Good times, good times. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. XXO. Boom.